From humble beginnings and an unparalleled love of being noticed, TV's Mitch English rose from playing class clown to one of the biggest names in morning television. His journey to fame, however, would be laced with triumphs, upsets, and tragedy. The year was 1947. Artemis and Linda English welcomed to the world a healthy 15-pound baby boy. Named after the chemical Artemis used to treat the corn in his crop-dusting plane, malodextrin Joey English began his life as any other kid would in an underprivileged yet close-knit family. Malodextrin, or mallow to his friends, spent his early days catching rats in the barn. Those barn rats would be Mallow's first audience. Now the irony was I, w I was playing for rats, and, and in later in Hollywood I'd be doing the same thing. <laughs> By 27, it was time to move on. Now known simply as Mitch English, he got the call he'd been waiting for, a role in a major Hollywood picture. And I am mama's little boy, I'm mama's little boy! Soon English brought more and more characters to life. But off stage, things were falling apart. Late night party binges, financial woes, and failed marriages were all part of the recipe of Mitch's demise. He's a complete and total jerk. Honestly, he's an idiot. We were just two different people. It was October 10th, 1998. English had just finished a gig in the Gringo Room at the San Antonio Airport Ramada. He turned to substance abuse to keep him going. He woke up 17 minutes later at St. Mary's General Hospital. It was in the hospital where English spoke to the nurse who treated him. In an incredible twist of fate, the nurse was the niece of the podiatrist who treated the lighting director of the new up-and-coming morning show, The Daily Buzz. The once dim star was given another lease on life. 